show in the blink of an eye with your truly Benjamin Valdez. El Capitan. From Pueblo Tires and Servers, your family car care center. Well, folks, we are on our 49th year. We thank God. We're reaching, uh, we're about to reach 50 years. Si Dios quiere. Uh, by the end of December, and we just want to thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for allowing us to serve you for, like I said, nearly 50 years. I'm here in San Juan at uh, Pueblo Tires and Service here in San Juan. We're going to be uh, picking Rudy uh, Perez's brain. He's our manager here in San Juan. Uh, we have a lot going in San Juan. We have uh, all kinds of service, all kinds of wheels, all kinds of tires, and uh, we just invite you to come visit us in San Juan. Pueblo Tires of Service, we've, we'd love to serve you, help you with your car. And today, you know, more than ever, people are holding on to their cars much longer. You know, there's a lot of politics in the air. We're not here to talk about politics, but we can't help but mention that, you know, a lot of people are, uh, you know, we're still are, are hearing the news and you hear about the pandemic, you hear about the COVID-19, you hear about the variants and so forth and so forth. But at the end of the day, you need your car. We need our car. A lot of people are afraid to fly. They're afraid to take the train. They're afraid of public transportation. So guess what? They want their car. They want a reliable car. And that's why we're here. Um, you know, through all these difficult times, we've been open uh, and we've been ready to serve you. Now we offer curbside service. We also have uh, something new called Mobile Tire Store. And we're gonna be talking to Rudy about that. We're gonna emphasize that service uh, and what it means to you. And uh, which is something that Rudy's gonna harp on and we're gonna define it a little bit more, but basically we can come out to your, to your house, to your place of business, install the tires that you purchased from us. But we're gonna talk to Rudy about that. Uh, that's a new service that we just rolled out just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, again, if you come visit us, you don't wanna get off your car, you understand, uh, we can go outside and, and visit with you. Uh, here at Pueblo Tires, we're still following the protocols. Uh, to keep you safe and our employees safe. Uh, but again, we want to thank you and we want to invite you. And pretty soon we're going to have some great news about how we're going to celebrate our 50th anniversary of Apollo Tires and Service. We, we're thinking of uh, several things and uh, I think it's going to be great for the community and uh, we want uh, you to know about it as soon as we have all the details in place. But today, again, I'm here in San Juan. Uh, I know football season is is already begun, what, whatever team your favorite team is. Uh, I know it's in the air. People are excited to go watch a football game. They want to go out there, they want to have fun. But be careful, you know. Uh, do your part to stay safe. Uh, if this thing's not over, and we still gotta follow those protocols. Again, on behalf of Pueblo Tires and Service, uh, we want to thank you for allowing us almost 50 years, okay? We're excited about that. And uh, we got, we're gonna talk about financing options. Yes, we offer financing options up to 24 months to pay and no credit needed, that's right. So whether you have bad credit, no credit, no problem. At Pueblo Tires and Service, we also have 13 locations to serve you. Open from Monday to Saturday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And again, we're excited uh, and we're here to help. We can advise you, uh, we can give you free quotes and much, much more. So on behalf of Pueblo Tires and Service, uh, we thank you for joining us today in the blink of an eye. This show is brought to you as a means to communicate to you that we're more than just a tire shop. We care about the community, we're thankful for the community, and we just want to give back as much as positive information as we can. This show travels. At times we'll be doing shows at schools, at colleges, other businesses. The point is to bring you positive uh, news about what's happening in our community. So again, on behalf of Polo Tower Service, we thank you. My name is Benjamin Valdez, AKA El Capitan. We're gonna take a break and we'll be right back in the blink of an eye with Rudy Perez, manager at Polo Tower in San Juan, Texas. We'll be right back. This preventative maintenance minute is supported by Pueblo Tires and Service. Are you making a summer getaway plan? Good for you. On any given day, there's over 125 million cars in the road in the U.S., meaning your car is literally one in 100 million. Having your vehicle properly serviced before a trip can go a long way in keeping your family safe on the road. That's right. Here are a couple of the many services we offer at Pueblo Tires and Service to help you get the most out of your summer getaway. Oil change. Oil lowers friction to help keep your engine cool. It also keeps the intricate engine parts moving smoothly. When oil 
is old or dirty. It's more sticky, scratchy, which makes your engine run hotter and wear out parts faster. Regular oil changes are so important. Protect your investment. And at Pueblo Tires, we offer financing options up to 24 months to pay and no credit needed. That's right. Look us up on Shampoozy.com. Dance! And yes, here we are in the blink of an eye, and uh, what you're seeing in front of you is Rudy Perez, our manager from San Juan in Pueblo Tire Service. Rudy, how are you today? I am doing very well. Thank you for having me. Well, Rudy, this is the voice that's talking to you, uh, but you're the star of the show today, okay? <laughs> so, Rudy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, my name is Rudy Perez. I've been with the company now for 12 years. Uh, I've been amazed of how this company is is a family well organized the company. Uh, welcomes every family in here, whether it's an employee or a customer. Um, it's, a war it's a warm welcoming. So, I mean, it's a great company to work for. And I mean, we are here to, to give out to the community uh, back some of that love. Tell us, Rudy, how did you, uh, how did you wind up at Pueblo Tires and Service? I came about applying, I actually applied at several different, um, I guess you could say mechanical shops, tire shops, trying to find a, a job uh, for college. I, I went to college to graduate for mechanic, and uh, one of those classes required that I worked at a shop, so I applied pretty much everywhere. The only place that uh, called me with minimal experience was Pueblo Tires, and I mean, from there, it's been it's been great. Can can complain that I've been on on this company, and now it's been 12 years. And Rudy, you uh, you also well, you studied uh, automotive. Correct. Uh, mechanics, right? Yes, sir. How, tell us about that. Uh, I came about, I went to STC for uh, automotive, and uh, before, I mean, even in high school, I took automotive, and, you know, just uh, sometimes when you work with your dad out there, and, I mean, you just become loving of cars and and working on them, and that's that's been my passion. And Rudy, uh, do you have a family? Yes, yes, I do. What do you have? Uh, how long have you been married? Or I've been married for... Here? Uh, six years and I have one little girl. She's five years. Very blessed with my family. A little girl. A little girl. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Well, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, well, Rudy, you know, <clears throat> Pueblo Tires has been around for almost 50 years, as you heard. Uh, you've been part of it now for how long? 12, 12 years. <clears throat> so you, you've been part of it for 12 years. And uh, we just want to tell the folks that Rudy Perez, again, as, as you can see, he's a uh, he's he had options. Uh, he was looking for work, <clears throat> and uh, he's he wound up here at Pro Tires, and we're thankful to have you, Rudy. Uh, tell us a little bit about your staff. Uh, tell us about how many employees you got, and uh, what kind of specialists are they? Well, my staff here at uh, Pueblo Tire San Juan is is a uh, great staff. I mean, I can I couldn't ask to work with better guys. Um, I have ASC certified technicians, which I mean are are master techs on what they do. I got uh, tire technicians that go out through training um, almost every half a year uh, to get certified on what they do with their tires. And I also have my uh, upper uh, sales team that also gets training to to better have knowledge of the products. That we do because without knowing what we sell I mean we couldn't really uh, fit the best fitment for the vehicle of, of the customer really is uh, you know as, as you know as we're a very difficult times right now and a lot of people are you know they're fearful of flying they're fearful of uh, taking the train or public transportation so they uh, rely on their cars and um, studies tell us that most families have at least two cars. Um, you, could you tell us what kind of service you offer here as far as vehicles uh, besides tires? We're also a mechanical service shop. Uh, a lot of customers still don't know that because we're better known as Pueblo Tires. They leave out the service part, but we do pretty much everything on the mechanical side. Uh, only thing we don't get into is major engine work, major transmission work, uh, but everything else is mechanical from AC, uh, suspension, alignments. Uh, we do leveling kits, we do lift kits. Um, we do pretty much everything um, that we, we could get a, a good hands on. If somebody comes into your store and, uh, you know, they, uh, 
they're experiencing some kind of a problem with their car, a noise, a uh, rattle or something. Uh, could you walk us through the process of how do you determine uh, what the problem is with that car? I know most cars today have uh, sensors and uh, there's, a, I think, some equipment that you have to use to uh, detect where the problem is. Uh, it's a scanner. Uh, I believe you can use that as a tool. Correct. Could you walk us through that process a little bit if somebody comes in and says, well, and again, I got a noise or something in my car. How, can you, how do you go about checking that? Well, I mean, it, it's uh, sometimes it's a distant uh, process. If it's uh, a noise that we're hearing, of course, we have to visually go in there and see if it's something physical uh, that needs a replacement or doing it. If it's uh, something else that you might feel an engine light came on on your dash or any other type of light that came in there and you might be feeling your vehicle different, uh, which is not as normally felt, uh, then we have to go in there and do a, a diagnostic, which would be uh, going through your OBD and reading the computer and that, that way we can find out exactly how we could uh, correct the issue that's going on with the customer's vehicle. Uh, what, what, how long does that take? Uh, normally to diagnose it takes anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes roughly to, to get an estimate. Okay, and uh, is there a fee for that? There is a fee. It's a $65 fee for uh, doing a diagnostic, uh, but we go ahead in there and we could uh, check everything that's on the computer from history codes to current codes. Um, of course, it, sometimes it may take a little longer if, if there's an actual issue. A sensor may be giving fault readings and it may throw other other sensors off. So, uh, I mean, basic time would be 15, 20 minutes. If not, it might take just a little bit longer. Longer, but we'll we'll get to the bottom of it. And there's even sensors in the in the in the wheels, right? In the Correct. Uh, do you know what the lifespan of these uh, sensors is? Sensors originally, I've seen them go anywhere from four to maybe about six six years. Uh, but nowadays, I've been seeing them go a little bit less. They've been going about maybe two to four years. Why? Um, Why is that? I I would <laughs> guess the uh, company just wants to go ahead and keep production of, of sensors and I mean they, they are going to go out it's a integrated battery in there so there's no just replacing a battery like any other um, I guess like a hand light or anything that takes a regular battery these are integrated so as soon as that gives out you got to replace the whole sensor. Speaking of batteries is there a lot of batteries I know there's a lot of batteries different voltages and so forth uh, some vehicles take more than one battery. Are a lot of batteries maintenance free these days? I mean, there is the newer vehicles, everything's going electrical, so we are gonna be needing more battery powered on there, more voltage. Uh, so the, some of the newer vehicles have a, what's your original battery on the on the front, and then they have what's called an auxiliary battery, which is a backup battery. Sometimes it's uh, mainly in the back of the vehicle, like in the trunk area. Uh, that's a secondary battery, which also uh, a lot of people don't know they have, but that one does come uh, in important when when uh, some of the stuff starts uh, failing, uh, we might want to check that one as well. And like I said, not a lot of people know that there's an auxiliary battery. They go ahead and replace that main battery when sometimes that's not the issue. But if you bring it to us, we'll go ahead and uh, check it for you, uh, do a free battery test, and we could help you out with it. Do we also do, uh, do you charge batteries here? We also do charge batteries. Uh, we do have a slow charger, but we do charge batteries and then we could check them to see if they're still uh, savable. If not, of course, we have batteries for replacement. Okay, well, we're talking to Rudy Perez, uh, manager here in San Juan, Texas, Pueblo Towers and Service. Rudy, could you give us the address to this place, please? Yes, it's 800 East Interstate Highway 2, uh, San Juan, Texas, 78589. What about the phone number? Phone number would be 956-601-1961. Well, Rudy, we thank you for joining us today in the blink of an eye. We're going to continue our talk with Rudy, talking about car talk and much more. And we're going to be right back in the blink of an eye. This Preventative Maintenance Minute is supported by Pueblo Ties and Service. 
Keeping your engine cool is a critical job. Without it, the engine melts into a solid block. It helps keep the water pump, radiator, hoses, and liquid coolant working to protect your engine from excess heat. Coolant exchange. Make sure your coolant can do its job keeping the engine cool. It also gets rid of any acid that builds up in the coolant. Keeps the engine from locking up or boiling over. And helps prevent corrosion. Fresh coolant has chemicals to help slow any rust or corrosion. So your radiator will live longer too. Let our trained technicians at Pueblo Tires and Service clean your system of old, tired, dirty coolant and refill it with the correct new coolant for your car or truck. And at Pueblo, we offer you financing options up to 24 months to pay and no credit needed. That's right. Look us up on Shampoozy.com. Dance! back here with Rudy Perez in the blink of an eye, courtesy of Pueblo Tires and Service, your family car care center. Rudy, uh, again, we want to thank you for uh, joining us today in the blink of an eye. As you mentioned, you've been with the company for 14 years now? 12 years. 12 years. Mm -hmm. Going on 14, right? Going on 14. Two and, more. Uh, has it been a learning experience for you, Rudy? Oh, yes. A big time learning experience. I mean, I learned things I didn't know, and I mean, what I knew I implemented, and you could say they, they got polished and got better. And as, as you can attest, uh, technology doesn't stop, right? Nope. I mean, technology has changed in 12 years since you started here. Is there something that you could point out that, man, when I first started here versus now in the area of technology, what would that be? I mean, like I said earlier, probably the electronic. I mean, every car is going electrical. Uh, now they even got steering, uh, the electric steering. Um, everything's through a sensor, basically, not like before. Um, before you would see just a regular part by itself. Now there's a sensor attached to it, and that just makes it a little bit more expensive just because it's electronic now. Where do you come from the era when we had carburetors uh, in our cars? You know, I used to be able to switch up brakes, I, I could do tune-ups, I could even do some carburetor work, but nowadays uh, it's impossible for somebody like me. Uh, your technicians, they have to really be uh, trained and they have to maintain their training, is that correct? Correct, yeah, I mean back then carburetor you would adjust it a little bit and you would get by it sometimes. I remember when they would just flip the top uh, to get more air in there. Now, I mean, it has a sensor on there, which is a mass airflow sensor. Uh, any air that goes in through there that's not right correctly, that'll turn it on and it'll it'll kind of make it misfire here and there and it sends a lot of signals to everything else just as a simple sensor. Um, but yeah, it has changed a lot from carburetors to now. Now tell us about filters. I know we got gas filters, air filters. Uh, tell us a little bit about, about that. There's your uh, air filter, which of course is the one that goes on the engine, filters the air coming into your engine. Uh, you also have your cabin air filters, uh, those uh, a little bit hidden, those go in your glove compartment area in the back. That one actually filters your AC uh, air coming in through your vents. Uh, most people don't know they have those and sometimes they come and say, my car is smelling um, weird, um, it has a funky smell and they don't know what it is until we go in there and I mean, that filter is, is pretty pretty dirty, clogged up. It's just like your filters that you have at your house for your AC is the same thing. It filters AC there. So, I mean, there's there's several. There's also your gas filters uh, for diesel. There's uh, filters. Uh, they take two. I mean, there's, there's all types of filters, oil filters. So, there you go, folks. I mean, we could go on and on about that's just one aspect uh, more of, of your vehicle. Filters, sensors, uh, as Rudy was mentioning. And, uh, you know, folks, if, if you feel like your car's acting a little weird, sometimes it could be something as simple as an air filter uh, being dirty. Uh, and, it, you know, you might think, wow, I need something major, but sometimes it could just be a, a problem with a filter. And uh, as Rudy mentioned, uh, there's several types of filters. Now, let's talk about the dashboard, Rudy. Uh, today's dashboards in the vehicles, they've got all kinds of uh, uh, lights on there. I, what do you call these icons or? Yeah, I mean, they're just your uh, different, uh, yeah, you could say icons or different symbols. And it, sometimes, one or two might turn on. Uh, what, what is that, in, I mean, just in layman's term, what, 
what is it? Is that telling you that something's going on? Something I know, like air pressure, uh, it'll tell you, hey, your one of your tires is low. Uh, it needs air, or you know, it's low, or it's got too much. Because either way, it's bad. Either too little or too much air is not good. Correct. So tell us about the dashboard. Have you ever had a customer come in here with a dashboard lit up like a Christmas tree? We actually had. Uh, we had a vehicle where everything was turned on, and basically, uh, like I said, a sensor is going to send a signal to another sensor, and it's just going to go downhill from there, and it's going to light up everything. So I mean, every sensor has a purpose that's why you see it on there uh, the most that you see coming on there is your check engine light uh, like you mentioned the tire sensor which is almost looks like a tire with an exclamation mark on it uh, if you have too much air it'll come on if you have uh, less air than where it's supposed to be it'll come on indicating that there's uh, something wrong going on with your tires there's your traction uh, lights there's uh, ABS lights there's uh, brake lights I mean we could go on there are several lights on there that'll come on but as soon as you see something going on there and you don't know what it is bring it on down and we'll be glad to help you if you don't if your car's not able to run call us you can call rudy and we'll see what can be done right rudy? correct sometimes uh you can give advice over the phone uh and also sometimes uh unfortunately sometimes people have to use a record to bring a car to you correct but if it's uh you know call us either way and we see how we can help you uh, we do have a new thing called mobile tire service or mobile tire store, uh, which basically is a truck that's equipped with equipment. <clears throat> if you purchase tires from Pueblo Tire and Service, you'll be able to go out there, Rudy, uh, to customers either uh, home or a place of business and install these tires, correct? Correct. And how can they find out more about the service? They could uh, give us a call to what I mentioned, 956-601-1961, uh, phone number here directly at San Juan location, or you can visit us at shampoozy.com and uh, yantas.com, and you could go ahead and uh, learn also there. We have some information on there, um, but if it's easier for you, give us a call. We're only call away, and we'll be glad to assist with it. So friends, uh, we thank you again for joining us in the blink of an eye. We hope you're having a, a blessed day this Sunday morning. Uh, be careful out there. You know, if you're making plans to travel or friends coming in or whatever the case is, uh, you know, here at Polo Terrors, we're well aware how important our vehicles are. You know, really, other than our homes, our houses that we buy, uh, the second most expensive uh, purchase that we probably ever do in our life is our cars. And uh, more than ever, uh, people are paying more attention to cars. Right now, we, there is a shortage of cars going on uh, due to you know the pandemic and other other situations or circumstances in our world. Uh, lack of uh, chips, uh, material, whatever you call it, but there is a shortage, and people are very aware of that. Uh, they're keeping up with that, but again, that's why they want to maintain their cars. And some people are holding on to their cars much longer than ever. And this is where we come in already and help them with a preventative maintenance program. If it's not, if something to be replaced or fixed, we can do it here at Pueblo Tire and Service. We have Rudy Perez here, our manager in San Juan. We're going to take another little break, and we'll be back right back in the blink of an eye with Rudy Perez here in San Juan, Texas at Pueblo Tire and Service. ¿Qué, qué? Pueblo Tires ahora está ofreciendo tienda de llanta móviles. Así es. Y lo mejor es que venimos así. Shampoozy, zapatea la mula, que baile. Shampoozy.com. Well, Rudy, again, thank you for being with us today, the Blink of an Eye. Uh, I know you're happy to share this information with the community because you're here in San Juan. Correct. And, uh, at this particular store here in San Juan, which uh, where I think the community has accepted us, uh, you've got a lot of business going on. Uh, that could we reiterate on that mobile tire service, please? Give them the website and give them the phone number and, and what they need to do to find out more about that service at mobile tire store. Yes, um, going back to that, um, the phone number again is directly here with us at the San Juan location, 956-601-1961. Directly, you could call us, we'll give you information, or you could visit iyantas.com uh, for more information.
And uh, we're happy to roll out that new service, which means we can come out to you, to your house, uh, to your place of business. <clears throat> if you're located in the Hidalgo County, Rudy Perez and his team will take care of you. We have another service for Cameron County. Uh, it's Ayantas as well, but it's, uh, it's in Cameron County. Uh, that's a different phone number up in Brownsville. Unfortunately, I don't have that number with me right now, but uh, uh, unless you know it. Uh, <laughs> no, unfortunately, I wouldn't. Uh, we can, we'll look up that number for Brownsville store. Uh, while Rudy's looking that up, uh, we're going to, again, thank you folks for joining us. Uh, Rudy's going to look up the phone number for our Brownsville location. But we also have that mobile tire store service through Brownsville, and that's going to serve uh, the Cameron County, <clears throat> Cameron County, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, here in Hidalgo, Rudy Pettis and his staff will take care of you. And uh, like Rudy mentioned, uh, you can call, you can go on iyantas.com and you'll you'll see uh, the locations that it serves uh, through Cameron County and Hidalgo County. Uh, and you find, get the number, Rudy? Yes. What's that number for Brownsville? It's there at the Boca Chica location. Phone number would be 956-542-8473. There you go. Well, Rudy, again, we've talked about a lot of things. Uh, we could go on and on, but this show is only so few minutes long. Okay. Yes. But I know, Rudy, you're happy, you're excited to be a manager here at Puddle Tower Service. you got a great staff. Uh, customer service is key, Rudy, right? Correct. And uh, why don't you tell the folks what you, what would you like them to know more about Puddle Tires and yourself here before we log off? We are here to serve you 100%. Um, we are a business. Uh, we do come with uh, everything as a professional uh, like I mentioned my certified team is here ready to serve you and um, all we ask is for an opportunity um, and we'll we'll try to give you that awesome experience that, that you deserve um, not only that you're investing in your vehicles but uh, we'll invest back in you as as uh, customers and and we want to keep you for life one more thing Rudy, before we log off uh, financing options we offer financing options up to 24 months to pay an upgrade need, correct? Correct. Why don't you tell them about that? We have up to 24 months. Uh to pay with $49 down. We also have no down payment uh, for six months to pay, which is our Pueblo card. You can find all these here at our locations or you could go to PuebloTires.com, Shampoozy.com uh, and get some more information there as well. Okay, folks, we thank you again. And it's false, false, so does prices of Pueblo Tires. We got package deals to save you money. Rudy, we want to thank you. Thank folks, you. on behalf of Pueblo Tires Service, don't forget nobody but nobody loves you more and appreciates you more than Pueblo Tires and Service. Nobody. This preventative maintenance minute is supported by Pueblo Tires and Service. Now we're going to talk about tire rotation tips. To get the most life from your tires and to help them wear evenly, have them rotated twice a year. This is especially important for front wheel drive vehicles in order to preserve balance handling and help maintain traction. Mechanical issues in the vehicle may also cause uneven tire wear. Automobile manufacturers recommend tire rotation frequency and pattern. Depending on the vehicle, tire rotation may be recommended every 8,000 miles. Don't get frustrated by tire problems. Let our trained technicians at Pueblo Tires and Service perform a free seven point inspection on your vehicle. Having your vehicle properly serviced before a trip can go a long way in keeping your family safe on the road. That's right. We have a saying around here. A well-maintained car is like money in the bank. And at Pueblo, we offer you financing options up to 24 months to pay and no credit needed. That's right. Look us up on Shampoozy.com. Dance!